Hello, this is your friend and neighbor Michael Gershman coming to you from the Winter Fantasy Festival and I am being brought to you by the North Beach Community TV and NorthBeachNow.com. The Winter Fantasy Festival is the longest running event at the Ocean Shores Convention Center and we are here to see what's here. We are here with Sibbit Studios and Peter Sibbit. Tell us a bit about what you have here. We make uh, wooden puzzles using all our pictures we take throughout the Northwest, actually throughout the whole country. We drive and capture iconic images and then glue the images onto wood and then cut them into little pieces like this, big piece and little piece wood puzzles. And the little pieces that we use actual uh, solid cedar wood, we hand slice them in a banza. And the, the big pieces we use plywood for the strength. And then we package them into our own wooden boxes that we make. And you make all these uh, different puzzles at your place up in Tacoma. That's true, yes, we make these in our home studio. Actually, our three-car garage is full of machines. We are here with Ocean Rose Designs and Julia Decker. Yes. Julia, tell us a bit about what you've got and what you got going. Well, I'm a home-based business from Ocean Shores. We've been part of the community for over 30 years. And I have an embroidery business, so I do a lot of uh, custom embroidery. and. Um, as you can see, I do so much more. <laughs> so I have a little bit of everything. I have embroidered gnomes, I have scrunchies and headbands, and then my daughter does have some jewelry too. <laughs> so that's about it. <laughs> How long have you been coming to the Winter Fantasy Festival? Oh boy, I think I did my first one back in like 1996, 97. So, and then I was away for a while, and then I came back, and I've been doing them since 2005. Hi. I'm here at the Winter Fantasy Arts and Crafts events, and I'm selling my jewelry and other products such as sand dollar ornaments, which I, was the first thing I ever started doing was sand dollar necklaces and ornaments, and they have evolved from here from being painted now with some of them having elaborate scenes on them and embellishments. Then I later fell in love with semi-precious stones. So I have a whole line of semi-precious stone work and my Etsy shop is currently on vacation online, but my business name is She Sells Seashells because that's what I do, one of the things. I have something new this year. Everybody likes to share a bottle of wine at Christmas. Well, what better than to share a bottle of wine that has jewelry on it? It is a gift that will last forever. Long after the wine is gone, you have the jewelry to either embellish other bottles of wine or pass on to somebody else. So. I'm really happy to be here. I'm happy that events are happening again in Ocean Shores and happy for the customers because there are a lot of people here. Thank you. We are here with the tipsy potter, Christine Lockhart. Christine, tell us a bit about what's going on here. Oh, well, thank you for coming to my booth. Um, we're the tipsy potter. Um, we have a shop on the boardwalk. Everything in our shop is handmade in Ocean Shores. We make beautiful functional pieces that are microwave, oven, and dishwasher safe. Um, we also have uh, some cute little whimsical air plants and um, always the gnomes. We teach classes and have open workshops as well. So, how many different styles and designs are, do you have between your shop and this booth? 
Oh, it's hard to say. We're coming up with new things all of the time. And then I also feature student work. And they, have, they bring in their own styles and their own backgrounds as well. So it's a wide variety. We have lots of beachy things, of course, but then also a lot of woodsy items and some very classical pottery designs as well. I notice you're also a published author. Oh, yes, I am. <laughs> I am, yes. I've published two books. I'm, um, I'm actually a, a, a retired university professor, and so I teach literature and writing. I'm still teaching a little online. But, um, yes, I'm a travel writer and a constant pilgrim. I'm always doing um, long-distance hikes. In fact, I just uh, came back from one. Um, I just hiked 500 miles in Spain, and I just did that in um, October. So I've only been home a couple of weeks from my hike. Mm -hmm. And the the 500 mile hike w was that through the Pyrenees or absolutely it's uh, I begin on the French side of the Pyrenees it's called the Camino de Santiago mm -hmm. um, a pilgrimage that has been happening for about 700 since 700 AD mm -hmm. and I hike up and over the Pyrenees and out to um, Santiago de Compostela outstanding and presumably you've been walking the beaches here in ocean shores also oh absolutely it's my training ground <laughs> we are here with robin and neil nyman of robin stuff woodcrafts and neil tell us a bit about what you got and how it's made and all that kind of interesting stuff Mostly all wood stuff, and uh, we've got a lot of holiday here, a lot of Seahawk, a lot of uh, solar piers, uh, and just doodads and ocean stuff, and uh, you name it, we got it. And it's just uh, fun, fun, fun. I love to see the smiles on everybody when they buy them. It's just awesome, awesome. So it's all with a scroll saw, and uh, I use indoor-outdoor paint and lights and... Everything can go outdoors. Everything can be put outdoors. Okay, we're going to turn on the, the tree, so let's count down together. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And we have hot chocolate and cookies uh, right at the open sign behind us at the convention center. And Santa Claus and Mrs. Claus will be in there for taking pictures, correct? All right. Thank you, everybody. Happy holidays. And, Michael, just because you're, it's just that time of year, you've been such a swell guy. You look after everybody and you go and you, 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 you help out with everything that needs to be done. We're going to put you on a special list, and we'll make sure that, well, we'll take you off the naughty list for now anyway. We'll see what happens. we got a few more weeks before Christmas.